Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Hearts of Iron 4 using a special mod called Star Wars Palpatine's Gamble, which is still an alpha. But we're led by Satine Krylas on the planet of Mandalore. Now, I was watching a certain Alex the Rambler, and I was watching him play, you know, as Mandalore. I'm like, you know what? I think I can do the same thing, you know. I think I'll try for myself, but we're going to begin with Start the Recovery. Because if you don't know, we just had a civil war here. In order to make our nation great again, we must start repairing the damages of our civil war. Now, we only have two, 20 credits, which is pretty bad, even though I just spent like 80 credits investing in our civilian factories. If you don't know about this mod, we get money by basically having more military civilian factories. Military factories cost us money. Occupying other nations or planets costs us money. Everything in this mod costs us money. Just like real life, everything costs money. Um, so, I would like to see, at least for this campaign, how well we can do with the Mandalore Nation, or the Mandal Mandalore Planet, because, like I said earlier, I saw Alex Rambler play, and I'm like, you know what, that seems like a lot of fun, especially with the armor and the Mandalores, so, at the time of this recording, I don't know a whole lot about the Mandalores, I know there's obviously a TV show or something on Disney Plus that's about it, so, if you'd like to fill me in about the Mandalores, please go right ahead in the comments below, but we've just started the recovery, and what we're going to go ahead and do, rebuild our cities. We must rebuild our cities in order to start leading our people from the darkness of our civil war. Now, we have the National Spirits. Severe depopulation, which is very bad. We have Recovering from the Civil War, which we're trying to do immediately because I want to remove the debuff to war support and stability. We have the New Mandalorians, which hurts our recruitable population factor by quite an insane amount. We have Poverty, which is obviously not very good. We have Rusan Combat Restrictions, which is very bad, which we have to get rid of to, before we go to war with anybody. And we have Rusan Naval Restrictions, which is also quite god-awful. So we got to get rid of that stuff as fast as possible. But unfortunately, because this mod is still in alpha at the time of this recording, we don't have that many political advisors. We have no military theorists. We have some companies we can use. Uh, you know what, let's do ones, because we're still researching stuff such as construction and industrial techniques. But after rebuilding our cities, we're going to go ahead and do start dealing with poverty. In order to bring our civilization back, we may need to deal with the current poverty issue caused by the war, which is important. But we're also using the I think the music player pack that this mod has, as well as State Chester Tool mod, as well as player the peace conferences, just in case, because you never know how things might end up going. Wow. Are we already done with the civilian building? Wow, that was... I was really fast, but we already have 20% war support, which is important, because right now, we're on civilian economy, we could go there, that costs a lot of PP, I wonder if we can get up to 25%, I'd love to go to war, get more war support with war economy now, we might wait just a little bit to get a little bit more war support, because eventually, we get to do that, we get more, well, ga galaxy tension, I should really say, galaxy tension, and we do have um, armor here, I love armor, and then our own weapons and armor, which is really cool. So, we could start doing some of this stuff. Now, I'm not really sure which land doctrine the Mandalores would go down. Um, I'm thinking of, like, Grand Battle Plan, maybe, but... Does Light Infantry also include Mandalores? It looks like it should include everybody in the army. Um, let's see. This is not really organized. Mandalorian Guard. So, I guess we'll just go with... Because it's tried and true. Superior power powers. Tried and true. So, we might as well go with that way. And after we deal with poverty, we'll do the population of Mandalore. In order to stabilize a country for the future, we must encourage families to have more kids in order to secure a future. Yeah, our future for a particular group, probably, but that's okay. So now we have a few more civvies to work with. Very good. Ah, uh, very, very good. Mel 7 will be done by then. Not bad. But after this one, we will do the Rise of Satine, which we lose a lot of war support, actually. Wow. And we get more stability, which is nice. After the Civil War, Satine's faction won. It is now time to start pacifying our people, whether they like it or not. Um. 15% more up for a few months. We got one more done, which gives slightly more credits, not caps, because this is not Old World Blues. But we're going to need as much money as possible, because when the war starts, it's not going to be very pretty. But we do have the team. So, as I was watching Alex Rambert play, he went down this way. Now, you can do either pacifists, which lose war support, get more stability, get more weekly stability, which is nice. Um, criminalize mercenaries, multiculturalism for more monthly population, as well as new Coruscant, which doesn't do anything right now. Or we could go the way he did with, this is a way to get rid of the combat restrictions, naval restrictions of new Mandalorians, and continue with the Dar Duskar tradition, which would get more weekly war support. Oh boy. Oh boy. Invasion of Boo. Oh boy, that's not, uh, that's not good. Also, we are on historical, just because I want to make sure the conflict actually happens. We can go with military service, and then we can do either Mandalorian supremacy, or we can do citizenship for warriors, which, that's not too bad, but that takes a while to get used. And we have a core population of 4 million. 1,000 is not bad, but you get 5% right off the bat. Get the DAC, Division Attack on Defense of Core Territory. So we'll see what happens with that. But up next, 
the Air Force, mobility focus, superior fighters versus a grab fleet, as well as begin creating cruisers. And which so we we go with this is a way focus. We get war support, Mandalorian Academy, extensive training, which is not too bad, and then true Mandalorian, which we get Jango Fat because. I love Jango Fett. He's probably my favorite, one of my favorite characters from all of Star Wars. We have, or we would go the pacifist ways. We go with a research slot, innovation, best guard for buildings, as well as peace in our time. So we'll see about that. Bio cube cities, exile of all the warriors. Let's go and just do our military traditions. We will be continuing with some of our military's traditions, or should we eliminate it entirely? We get more army speed, which we absolutely need immediately. Um, but so yeah, and actually we start with a commando division here. With 18 combo with, which is okay. These are Mandalorian guards, but I'm thinking. Oh well, hold on. Oh, uh, uh, oh, dang it, commandos. Um, we'll put these as old guards. There you go. Now I converted these guys to these guys because I want to throw on. Well, Mandalorian guards are cool. Mandalorian commandos are actually better overall, and they require uh, less equipment technically. They require 250 guns and 100 Mandalorian armor, same manpower. Well, these require no Mandalorian armor, but get double the gun cost. And right now, our guns, we don't have any of them. We got plenty of armor for now, so. And actually, if this one completes, we're going to lose war support. I don't know how fast we can get up to 25%. We were close at one point. Oof. Oh, Disperse Industry is done. That's good. I love how fast this mod moves, I'll be honest. That's really, really nice. Mandalorian tech. Of course, we can get some better guns. Uh, land stuff? We'd probably grab some more breakthrough, maybe? Uh, actually, would that be helpful at all? Oh, we'll probably do it anyways. Just do it anyways, that's fine. We only have two research slots, which is okay. But still. I'm gonna risk it. Let's wait a while. Because if we can't get more than 25% war support, what we're gonna do is, uh, just go ahead and go from civilian to early mobilization. It's not as good, but that's alright. It is what it is, right? Now let's go with the commandos, because I'm just going to go and throw this on here. Because that's just so good. I want to make 20 combo with of those dudes. That'd be very nice. Alright. It doesn't look like we'll be able to get it, which sucks, but... Hey, things happen. You know what? I'd rather... We have enough PP anyways. Go early mobilization then. Rise of 16, enter military edition. So we can start converting our divisions over to commandos. I love the commandos. In which we will now get... Oh, this person? Who are we leading? This person. Let, let, let this person lead. I can't really tell. Haiki Fern. And we want to be offensive. I love being offensive. Very cool. And actually, that helps us out a little bit more. Maybe. Let's see. Not bad. 2,000. Pretty good. I want that army XP. I don't want to spend this, but we're doing it any, anyways for now. 1,420. Build, 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 build. Make more money. After our military tradition, we're going to go immediately with this is the way. We must keep some of our traditions in case we are ever in a situation where the military must be used. We are, however, risking the potential future of our people. Sometimes you got to risk it for a biscuit. Actually, for leg infantry, does that include... Uh, It should include everybody, right? Yeah, Mandalorian commandos. I love commandos. I love the armor. It's just so awesome seeing the Mandalorian armor. <sighs> I love it so much. But, commandos. Unfortunately, I've already played as a Galactic Republic once... Um, so which actually was not too difficult. It was a really nice starting off point when you're playing as them, but we won't get any clone troopers for this campaign, probably. And that's all the equipment we can build, of course. Alright, so for this one, we're going to save on guns, and if you see, look, look at all the benefits you get from this. More recovery rate, defense, breakthrough, hardness, recon, initiative, organization, HP, reliability, or less production costs. It just costs you more armor, and saves you guns. What's not to love? That dropped down by 1,500. We lost 200 things of armor. Not bad! It's slowly going up, so we'll get there eventually. And we have only 11% war support. Oh, that's so painful. And can you the Duskar religion? Yeah, or Duskar tradition, not religion. This is important, so that's the way we get more weekly war support, so we can get some better stuff. I'm not sure this is really worth doing right now. I'd really want to focus on their industry, because we need more output. Just just way more output. So, tr continue the traditions. The tradition of making Duskar armor for our troops is one that cannot be passed up. It is our heritage, and our tradition and tradition is important. And we're going to beeline through this one, so... And we just got that one, so we can actually go ahead and do whatever we need. Wow. We literally have no uh, things there. Okay. And yeah, we'll do this too. Make our guys even stronger. Now, it does increase our weight a little bit, but that just means how many convoys you need, I think. Or no, no, no that weight is weight. Supply use, I mean. We need more supplies. I don't really care. Making our guys even stronger this way. I mean, just... This is the way, my friends, as the focus did say. I love it. Look at even more. Oh, look at that. Uh, just go up. Please go up. Please go up as much as possible once we get this one done. 
Um, I'm really divided. Getting 5% more population off a of bat is extremely strong, but 1,000 more weekly manpower, if we go for that immediately, we get the benefits as fast as possible. So, that's really not bad. Oof, I'm not really sure. So, obviously, we can't do this one, which sucks, but oh well. Black Market, Crisis on Mandalore. Oh, wait, Ahsoka Tano. Oh, I didn't know about that. Military service, get four more commando divisions, but that's going to cost us more money. Uh, let's do this one. Biocube Cities. Biocube Cities are the way forwards on our desolate planet. Not bad. Not too shabby. If we do this early enough, we get week 1,000 weekly manpower. 5% is just so much. <sighs> and we get four more divisions which we can use, which we're gonna need more divisions. Now, we don't know how good they are, but getting four more off the bat and 10% more stability is not too bad. Yeah, I don't know how often we're gonna be fighting on Mandalore. We might be fighting a whole bunch on this planet. But we might not be. We probably will be, but probably not an extreme amount. So I think oh, we're going to go citizenship for warriors. We will encourage warriors to move to our planet in order to deal with our population issues while making sure our military is powerful, versus we do not want anyone but Mandalorians in a great civilization. I really want to do that one, but the weekly manpower. Ooh. Keep building, 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 building. We get 0.76 million credits per day, which is not bad, but also we do have the production market. I'm not really sure how this works. We can't build any of these ships, which is okay for now, since it doesn't really matter to us, but still. Biocubes are done. And military service. Uh, yeah, let's go and do that one. All citizens of Mandalore must serve in the army now at one point in their lives. Not too bad. 60% war support. We're getting more every week. I'm probably just going to jump up here immediately. We need to get more population right now. Definitely, definitely, definitely. We have five more army XP, which is nice. Um, old guards. Commanderinos. Yes. Oh, God, yes. Ah. Uh, even, just, they're so much stronger than the guards. Logistics, look at that. They used to be 16,000, now it's 10,000. We're making so much armor. It's so much, so fast to make armor. I love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, Republic Tech Inc. Well, we can't do anything about that. We're not, we're not either one of these two, right? Yeah, we don't have options to do this, so. Just spend a little bit more money on making things faster, faster, faster. Nice. 19% and after military servants, I, I want to go this way. We got to go this way because we can get the benefits of the weekly manpower now, which will be super important. We will encourage warriors to move to our planet, of course, I said earlier, in order to deal with our population issue while making sure our military is quite powerful, which is always option, always a great, great option for us to do. All right, everyone. So here we are at, and we're currently doing Exile of All the Warriors, in which apparently, I guess there's no description there, but we're almost done with that. Now, we did move on to partial mobilization. We do have 28% war, war support, and we were able to get those four divisions out. Now, I didn't know that we we're going to get just 18 combat with Mandalorian commandos, so oh well. Um, we can probably eliminate that. We'll probably train these guys instead, but they do have, they do have, as you see, chip at support. Now, it looks really bad. All you get is 0.2 HP, but it only looks really, really bad because, like, all the other things that you can do with this... We haven't researched jetpack support yet. If you research, if you don't research um, a support a support company, basically, which is over here, if you don't have it researched and then you try to put it on, you lose a lot of buffs or just lose your stats. So once we research it, then we'll assess whether we should keep it or not. Mobile infantry, what is this? Oh, it's the bikes. Oh, yeah, that'd be really cool to use. All right, so we have Exile of All Warriors. Many exiled warriors have expressed interest in returning to Mandalore. They want to see their homes and families once again. Turn away the exiles? Ooh, stability's not bad. Let us welcome the exiles back into peaceful society. I don't know how peaceful we really are at, and I would like to get more war support. We should recruit these exiles into a defense position. Oh, we don't get any more war stability. I don't mind getting more divisions, but... I think I'd rather... Oh, we, that's basically free manpower, though, and we need manpower. I'm gonna hurt ourselves. Do it. Get him. So be it. We do have five army speed. Let's see, what do we get? What do we get here? We get three more divisions, and they're Mandalorian exiles. They're actually really good. They don't have any of the jetpack stuff, but not bad. Um, I will. We will need to keep some guys here. At this point, I'm gonna keep you guys here. We can continue editing this division, which I would want to do, but I'm gonna keep these four divisions here. What we're gonna do is cancel that. We're gonna do this. Because these guys will be the home guard, just in case our planet gets invaded, which it obviously will. Actually, that too, that's fine. Um, just So we have a home guard division, just in case things go really, really poorly. 
So we'll do that. They'll split off. They'll be over here, hopefully. And this will be our main army to use for now. So I think that's a good idea, but declare neutrality. In order to, for us to rebuild our nation, we need to stay neutral in this current conflict and end the suffering of our people. Not bad. So, not too bad. And, ooh, Republic Tech increase, that's fine. Hopefully they don't use it too much, and we're still trying to build up more civvies. Even though we do have almost, roughly, 400 credits, and we get 0.745 every single day, which is not too bad. Uh-oh. Not too bad. Okay, that just said it was doing stuff. Also, we did go from volunteer force to small size force. We will eventually... Oh, we could do that right now, actually. Get even more manpower. That wouldn't be bad. But after we declare neutrality, uh, that takes a little bit too long. Let's do the black market conspiracy. I want to see what this is all about. Where are the exiles? Let's do the exiles. We must choose how we will deal with the exiles on Concordia. We already kind of talked about the exiles earlier, but... You know what? That's okay with us. That's totally okay. Now, obviously, without a lot of manpower here, which we don't have a lot, but we do get a thousand a week now, which is really nice. Once we start occupying nations, it's not going to be very good for manpower. So I'm going to, I'm not, I'm going to assume we're not going to have any manpower for a while. And I need to slow down my speech, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Ooh, okay, so now we just done that. That's not too bad. Uh, this is this one first? Cool. And so, what are the buffs? Let's look at the old guards first. If we threw on jetpack support, you get less recovery rate, more defense, breakthrough, soft attack, more supply use, more air attack, less organization though. Ooh, more liability and HP. Um, so this is the division that has it already. These guys. Ooh, we already have a lot of organization. That's really good, actually. But you do get a little bit more soft attack. Is that worth it? I think just for the sake of continuity, we'll probably just use them anyway. So. Uh, we do need to make them, though, so that'll be important to do, because we don't have any of them right now. We can share this a little bit more. There you go. 3.7 a week. Not bad, not great. We could maybe upgrade them upgrade them later. Yes, please. Industry, uh, yeah, we must get some more output, right? Might as well. Cool. Anything else? We have no military stuff, which actually really sucks, so. Uh, not bad. We, I was thinking about getting some of this stuff immediately. Get some tanks, maybe. Armor research speed. Naval manufacturers, we might want to do naval research speed eventually. But let's just. Oh, we're not even using artillery. Infantry equipment. Eh, we're going to use that one anyway, probably eventually. So let's do that one. Four. four. It's hard to read that. It's hard to see that that's a three. But I'm glad we can actually read this one in English. So military spending is hurting us. Military factory upkeep is hurting us. Naval factory upkeep, which. Actually, we do make a ship. No, we have not. We have no ships, but we have naval. Stuff hurting us? Okay, then. Alright, well, whatever. Anyways, um, commandos, commandos, we're just gonna use these guys and throw on, make them 20 combo it. So, division per division, we'll do relatively okay, and that does give us slightly more organization. There you go. Commandos, you go back down now. There you go. Cool. So, that's not bad. That division's actually really good. The Exiles on Concordia. The Exiles of Concordia must have long been a splinter group of terrorists. They must be taught a lesson in order to end these constant attacks and the insurgency. Oh, get a war with... Oh, they're down here. Let's try to peacefully bring them in. Ooh, I'm not really sure. Establish council of neutral systems? Just by World War 7 on us. Let's do the black market conspiracy next. We, our people are being poisoned by tea that was imported from abroad. We should look into this and try to resolve these issues. All right, so, so right now we can't even buy ships because we're not part of any faction, which really actually is sucky. We'll try to do it peacefully because there's literally not, nothing else we can do about it. So, yeah. But if we can navally invade without naval invasion ships, that'd be really good. But I don't think it's going to be possible since we don't have any, you know, guys around here, but whatever. Hopefully they can't really resist us, but you never know. Another one, commandos, 18. If just convert them all to this one group, then that's fine. Command two, yeah. We need more jetpacks, but whatever. Keep spending the money in there. Just keep building, 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 because we're going to take out a lot of loans. Just like what I did for, you know, my college education. A lot of loans. Concordia refused to be integrated by us, and therefore has chosen an option of war. Uh, we won't have any naval supremacy, though. So, doing this is probably a really bad idea. Infiltrate Mandalore. Who are you? Actually, you have a neat focus tree? Oh, they kind of do. The dreams of our homeland, huh? So they went down the secret war. Infiltrate Mandalore. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Slow disloyalty. Terrorism. Oh, that really sucks. We get weekly manpower goes down. Cut CIS ties. Meet with the neighbors. Maul very whip. Very work in progress. Um, We have literally no navy, so I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. All we can make are convoys. I guess... There's nothing we can do, though. 
We can't buy anything. Um. Oh, get, I guess, motorized. Support equipment, infantry equipment, advanced. Wow. Oh, quantity? We can't get that one, huh? Okay, then. Um, I'm not really sure how we're supposed to do this, then, if we can't invade. They could probably invade us, because it's the AI, but... Uh, can I buy ships, please? I guess we should have done some naval tech, then. So, after mobile defense, let's grab some... Corvettes are easy to make, right? So, let's get some of that, I guess. This is, uh, okay. This is weird. Occupied territories. We have occupied... No? Civilian oversight's really good. Reconciliation? It's not bad. I like that one. Oh, old gods. Oh, we do that one. That's probably easiest to do. So some good manpower, though. Okay, so black market conspiracy. Mandalore has been in a crisis for a long time due to the war. The need for supplies on the planet has caused black markets to open on Mandalore in order to meet the necessities of the people. Crisis on Mandalore. Oh, well, oh, that sucks. Um, our warriors? I guess. Our warriors are our greatest weapon and must become the greatest warriors in the galaxy. Not bad. Sounds pretty good to me. Padme comes to Mandalore. Padme has come to visit Mandalore. Her visit is welcoming for the people, letting them know the sin has not forgotten them. She's also a close confidant of Satine. A surprise, Monsieur, but a welcome one. Ah, yes. So, can someone invade each other? Poisoning at the hospital. D during a visit to the local hospital, it was discovered that many children become are found poisoned. The cause for the poisoning is yet to be determined. I don't think they deserved it this time, but we must discover the cause of this. I'm so glad we get a thousand more weekly manpower. See what happens in the investigation. Disperse industry. Cool, cool, cool. Give me more of this stuff. When investigating the issue, it was discovered that the drinks that the children contained an ingredient that, if used to an excess, caused poisoning. It was also discovered that these shipments were coming into the docks. We must shut down this operation immediately. I kind of want to join a faction now so we can buy stuff. The raid. Satine and Padme went to the docks with some royal guards and the police chief to find some paved off policemen and a smuggling operation. A fire fight began between the smugglers and Satine's retinue, resulting in the criminals being arrested. I wonder what other black market dealings are going on here. Hey, more stability, nice. 22, not bad, not too great, but not too bad. 450, not terrible, could be better. And I guess anti-corruption campaign, probably. Uh, it's not bad, I like that one too. The true Mandalorian, yeah, I would love to get that one. But the, probably the anti-corruption campaign, well, let's approach the Separatists first, because it's a 49-day focus. Separatists can possibly be good allies to help us get back on our feet. Getting favor with them may help us get in favor with the banking clans, because we all we care about is money. Ah, nice. We'll do stuff about Ahsoka Tano eventually. We've got a week left for that, so it's not too bad. And 23, not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good ourselves. And, all right, so we lost a bonus of that production stuff, but it's all right. Even if we built more naval shard, shards, naval shipyards... Can't really do too much else, which kind of sucks, I'll be honest. Medium-sized force out hurt at training time, but that's kind of okay with me. Um, yeah. These commandos look really, really good. We might want to throw some artillery on here, too, just in case. Eh, we can lower by one, why not? Because all we're missing is infantry equipment now, which is fine. Ah, there we go. Now we can start making these guys. Uh, I just want to buy the next level of equipment and such. But we need to get some more research speed, don't we? I haven't done this at all. Oh, my goodness. My bad. We have no naval XP too, so that kind of sucks. Whatever. All right. Goodbye. I guess we get a lot of screens because we'll buy the capital ships for what we really need. CIS tech increase. Cool. Oh, they're level two. The Republic is not bad. Approach the separatists and approach the Republic. We should approach the Republic to try and help us rebuild our nation. Our membership in the Senate will also increase our influence. And Dak went to war with Cotton. Cool. Oh, we have no stability because we're at war. God dang it. Oh well. Whatever. Who cares? Oh, more divisions. Nice. I don't have experience with these other guys, but that's alright. What are we missing? Infantry equipment, of course, and then jetpacks, which will come along eventually. Once we start taking in other nations, we'll be fine. Yeah, we should be fine. Let's go with two, and then go with, like, a lot more of these guys. Basic infantry equipment. Which one's better, actually? West Star. Uh, breakthroughs, 10, 10, 4. 5, 5, 4. 90% reliability versus... 80%. 0.5 production cost. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> this is just better overall, so. Uh, you know what? Lower by one. We're doing really well in armor. We're actually doing extremely well in armor. Just keep doing that one, then. Hopefully, we can build this one relatively soon-ish. It's going to take a while, but whatever. 
So after we approach the Republic, let's establish a council of neutral systems, but we'll do anti-corruption campaign first. Invite the Jedi to help raise awareness on corruption. And we got some construction. It's a little bit ahead of time. Uh, we don't have that many things we can do here. I guess we keep going down for land auction, maybe? Back on armor? Oh, this is better West Stars. That'd be nice, right? Because you guys... Soft attack is 10. But West Star 34, soft attack is... 15. Oh, baby. Man, we, that's a lot of soft attack. Oh, I love it soft. Nice. Construction. 20 and 4. Pretty good. And now we get 0.9 credits every day, so it's slowly going up. We're a minor nation here. You know, we're not that big. My question, though, is this. How big is our navy? There should be no ships, right? Hopefully not any ships. Get some more research speed. Thank you. Approach Republic. And anti-corruption campaign. Ship yet? No. God dang it. Nah. I should have researched a ship first. I didn't realize it was going to take this long to get a goddamn ship out. I don't want to stop building these up. Just because we need the money. Because the fleet is going to cost us so much. It's just so much. I'm uh, going to do that one too. It doesn't really matter. We'll get all this stuff done. At least we get more weekly wars, which is really nice, actually. Even so, even if we're at war, we get 100% eventually. Very good. Declare neutrality for now. But you never know, because it's only 978. And we'll probably go to war eventually. Probably really soon. Uh, if you want to, go and do that one. That's fine. Yeah, I'll do that again. That's fine. And then now I'll do that. There you go. Just train those last two divisions because you might as well now. Cool. CIS tech increase is taking forever. Production is coming along. Oh my goodness. Screw it. Um. There you go. Get all this stuff done first. Oh, actually it builds relatively quickly. Not bad. So, now we've set ourselves up. Kind of. We'll do this one. Uh, we must establish the Council of Neutral Systems in order to further defend our nation. Uh, and distance ourselves from the war. The arrival of Ahsoka Tano. Under the investigation or invitation of Satine, Padme Ahsoka Tano has arrived in order to teach the youth of Mandalore about the threat of corruption to society. I wonder what she's going to say. Oh, the Prime Minister. Although Almec has proven to be a good Prime Minister in the past, it has become been discovered by Ahsoka and a few of her students that Almec is behind the black market dealings on Mandalore. Something must be done. The coup! Ahsoka and the students arrived at Satine's home to find her guards attempted a kill, find her guards killed and her gone. Alma currently has her jailed and is attempting a coup. What will come of this? Only time will tell. <gasps> Satine? What is going on? Ahsoka's plan. Ahsoka has devised a plan in order to rescue Satine and to restore power back to her and immediately stop the coup. Her and the rest of the students are brought in a room where Satine is imprisoned as a part of the plan. Um, MX. Separatists? Ooh, I mean, I think Alexander did this one. Do I want to join this? Yeah, actually, if we do this, we might be able to buy stuff, so. I'm sorry, Satine. Man, you have one heck of a neck. Look how long that neck is, where his chin and jawline begins. He's got a really nice facial feature. Wow, that's really, that's really stark. And I really just cut off the lower thing there. Holy crud. Now, oh, look at this. Because now this is the alignment chart. Okay, interesting. Can we do anything here yet? Nope. Alright, button. How's the Senate doing? Oh, they already did some acts. Uh, we can buy some guys there. We'll probably take out loans later on. Please tell me we can buy ships. Oh, we can buy ships. That's why I did it like this. Because we can buy ships. Uh, we don't have that much money, honestly. 12 million credit arenos. Ooh, we have five. Almost 600. <laughs> CV capital ship. Well, it's only level 1 stuff. So 2.4. 200. 200 million. Wow. That's a lot. 2.4, 200. Um, can only afford so much. Just buy everything you got there. And how much is this? Because really the most expensive thing that will come out of everything here will be the navy, which is what we're making right now. Diamond class. There you go. So now we should have a fleet, right? No? Okay then. That's what we do. Not bad. Now, we have this, which is not probably too bad. But the biggest thing is that we're going to have to buy some planes now. So how many planes can we afford? 1560. That's a lot of planes. All right, so coming soon, Nantex class, 50. Um, 0.95, about a million credits. Not bad. Ooh, Hyena, one. Just buy them all. That'd be good. Because we need these guys immediately, so we can just do this immediately. So, here we go. That's not going to be enough. It's just never going to be enough, but whatever. 
So 1,500, huh? So 1,500 divided by 2, so it's 780? No. No, math is numbers. Numbers are difficult. Well, let's go to 700-ish here. And we'll go 800 here. 860, so 860. Um, 700 plus 800. That should be correct numbers, right? The West Star, very good. We can't get this stuff yet. Disruptor Rifles. Mm, I'll put, I'll put, let's get some more cap. We might already be at our cap level, so. Good. And, yeah, we could use those screens. Let's buy one. That's fine for now. Whatever. Construction. Lower this to the bottom. I still want to make more stuff here. Alright then. So, you guys, stop training. Get ready to go. And you guys, head on out, and you should be able to do very well. We do need, uh, wait, unassigned. Do we not get an admiral? There's no admiral we can even possibly use. Okay, that's not very good then. This is going to be not very great, but we're going to do our best. Alright, well. Let's see what happens, guys. Alright, so we've landed immediately. Very nice. Send one over there. And try to link up. And they immediately started attacking us, and we've landed. Cool! Everyone's over here. Everyone's joining the party. Let's go! Actually, do we have cords on this? We do, so I'll just go straight to Bannock's on then. Alright, so the war... Oh, yeah, we call all the CIS, and we have only 13 divisions. Well, they lost 1,300. Not bad. Make that 2,300. And now make that, what, 3,000? No? Okay, cool. Thank you. Because if it's all of a core for us, then I'm just going to take it. We need as much resources as possible. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. And we do have a navy here now, too. Which isn't great. Don't get me wrong. It's not great. We get one a day. So we got more pop... Ooh. More civvies. Oh, yes, we did! That makes me happy. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Raxus Address. This new order will serve the people, not corrupt politicians. It will utilize its power and service to good, uninhabited by a self-righteous, tyrannical code. And well, we might as well go ahead and do trade treaties with the Separatists, probably. Um, Non-aggression pact with these guys? The Separatists are willing to sign more treaties with us, strengthening our nation. Sounds like a good idea. Hey, almost have 20 out of 20? Oh, it's, it's fluctuating crazily. Holy crud. Continue. Well, we could do that. Get more war support. Um, but I do want to see if I can beat up, like what Alex the Rambler did, beat up this, the Galactic Republic. Uh, I should probably combine, honestly, for now. We only have one capital ship, which is just not very good. Oh, there goes Bastine, cool. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so, let's take a look at the faction. Where's the Galactic Republic? They're down here. We're going to have to push out this way. Oh, man, we're a frontline sit frontline, ooh. A frontline planet is not very bueno. And they're probably going to have a massive navy. So, that's not very good, but we'll do the best we possibly can. Let's start setting up a naval invasion. Uh, if we're going to invade, we're going to do that. As long as we can keep control of the, basically, the seas, the, you know, space, we'll do okay. But you never know. And I love that this is a core. Ah, that's so good. And we got so many more resources, too. So people will want more stuff from us. And we'll get some Rhydonium? Rhydonium? Nice. Civvy stuff. We only have 315, which is not too bad. One a day. That's actually really good. 20 and a number that's 12 now, but we'll see what happens. Trade with the Separatists, and then we'll probably do treaties with the Rep... Uh-oh. Uh... We'll sign more treaties with the Republic and start to get a closer relationship with them. I like to play both sides. Okay, where's Doc? Um... How are they doing? That's these guys that are fighting these guys. Karin isn't guaranteed, huh? Well, okay. Well, if we take them out, help help take them out, that would probably be really, really good. They only have two ships. Ah, oh, screw it. We'll get over there. Why not? I just set all this stuff up, but whatever. Nice. Alright, so hopefully we can get over here and do okay. One, two, three. And do this. There you go. Two, three. Hopefully we don't lose our soldiers here. But we'll see with our navy. Our, obviously our navy isn't very good, but... With that extra planet under us... 
Uh, we should do okay. Give us some time to prepare. Actually, I should have came over here first, prepared first, and then done this, but whatever. Alright, so the Navy, you can stop training. Go ahead and repair. I really wish we could have a fleet admiral. I don't know why we don't have that, but whatever. Oh, the Clone Wars begin. Oh, well, crap. Get over there. Can we invade? How are our soldiers? This is extremely risky. Holy... Oh, God. Oh, it's lagging super hard. Alright, so we need a bigger navy. Get in there, get in there. I'm gonna say no. I can't see who we're fighting yet. Hopefully it's not a lot of these guys over here, though. Oh, oh, we better hurry up with this stuff. So we got one of these guys. Throw him in there. As oh. Go in. Actually, before you do that. Um, it's not bad, actually. Let's go... 600, maybe? Is that all we can afford here? Hyena bomber classes. It's fine. 600, and then, what, 900 for these guys? It won't really matter too much, though. There you go. Cool. For the love of God, please do not navel and baby while I'm trying to do this stuff, too. Because if we can get this group done, that'll be very, very good for us, actually. Can we actually push out this way? Division per division, we should be able to win, but they might have, like, a few divisions here anyway. Oh, yeah, it's two versus three. That's not good. Go, 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 go. We don't have so much time here before we get navally invaded, because enemies love invading us. Ah, oh, screw it. If they're going to invade us anyways, I guess the Clone Wars have begun. Hopefully, this Sen Horn's going to learn a whole lot. A whole lot. Get more research speed. Oh, and the droids are coming in, too. That's nice. Oh, we have no stability either. Mm. Well, time for war economy. Not total mobilization, because that could really hurt us. Let's do this one. Oh, that's not good. Keep sinking whatever they have. This will be good. At least at least let us do this stuff first. Um, I'll put extractions. Grab some more cap. And maybe we'll do some more land auction soon. I mean, we're learning a lot. Don't get me wrong. We're learning a whole bunch here. Get them droids going. I, and I wish we could, I could show you that, but we cannot. Um, well, I can't do that. Well, actually, we can still do that one. Join the Separatists? Oh, we can't do that one because we're kind of already joined a faction. We we'll just get more war support anyways. But, um, let's grab extensive training first just because we're already at war. Our training methods have proven quite great and have made our troops could become some of the most renowned in the galaxy. But let me know in the comments below, guys. Should we go with mobility focus for air doctrine and superior fighters? Or should we go with the Grand Fleet and do begin creating cruisers? Let me know in the comments below. Because I want to at least end this episode on a positive note by killing off this city. As hopefully we don't get taken out here. Hopefully not. Mandalorians. I'm going to train old guards. Get two. That should be enough to help satisfy just defending our planet. Hey, another cruiser. Nice. I'm really disappointed that we can't get anyone else here, though. This is really not bad. We need to get some artillery, though. I need artillery. Tons of soft attack would be great. Great, 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 great. And trade, let's see. Just in case, just in case, hopefully we get, oh, we're almost out of fuel, that's so not good. Keep going, keep going. Hopefully this first planet will die here and we can win and do well against these guys. I can't imagine that they're going to last too much longer though. One to three division, or three, one, one, one to three ships, a lot of manpower, tons of divisions, yeah, with a droid army, we're definitely doing okay. Hey, it was on five uh, convoys, not too bad. Akbar, Ka Admiral Akbar, nice, very nice. We got him, my friends. I think we have gotten them, but we got to head on back home. Hopefully, don't lose too many divisions along the way here, and prepare to finish out, or maybe at least get through a lot of the Clone Wars in the next episode. Because Outer Rim ain't looking too bad. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will push as hard as we can to fight the enemies of the Trade Federation. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.